Little wind, little snow, little cold in late March in Ann Arbor. What does that mean? The start of the Big Ten men's lacrosse season as Michigan hosting the number eight team in the country, the Blue Jays from Johns Hopkins. Big Ten men's lacrosse. Another story for Michigan is they've pretty much been playing two goalies, and they pretty much, Jesse, have been playing two goalies per game is how it's been going down. Shane Carr, number 41, gets the start. He's played 218 minutes, but Hunter Taylor has played 190 minutes, so they're pretty neck and neck. They are, and I think kind of speaking with Coach Connery, it's all about the, the first stop and, and making that first save for him. Gets his confidence up. Downhill, Matt Collison, the freshman, does that get into their head or not? And he didn't really have a firm answer on that one. It's tough, you know, I mean, he said it really all depends on that first save. Well, here we go. He, he, the Hopkins has a couple shots that go wide. Their first shot on goal is a really quality look for Hopkins, and it goes in the back of the net. This time he does make the save. That so was, that's a big save for his confidence right there. Yeah, good work talking about Shane Carr, Jr. No relation, by the way, to the former football coach for the Michigan Wolverines, Lloyd Carr whose name came up actually as, boy, it is a great time to be a Michigan Wolverine as their hockey team just won, women's gymnastics won, men's gymnastics won, and the Michigan gymnastics coach, talking about Lloyd Carr, there's Carr with the save. And there he is, Tim Marcio, six and three, 11.55 goals against average. He's had a couple blinder games as it made me wonder about your biggest blinder game, and you had 21 saves and a 9-7 win at Towson in 2005. You were telling me the ball looked like a beach ball. <laughs> it's always fun playing at Towson, especially on a Saturday afternoon. As we've talked about, number 41, Shane Carr getting the start after splitting time all season long with Hunter Taylor. Came into the game, 218 minutes played, 54 goals against, 1484 goals against average, 39 saves. Taylor with 35 saves. And it's worth mentioning again, as repetition is information, most of the time it's been two goalies in a single game. And pretty much it's, according to Coach Milliman, about gut, gut feeling, right? Or Coach Connery, rather. Yeah, you know, that's not, it's it's something you see a little bit in rec ball, but as you get kind of older into high school, college lacrosse, you, you rarely see the two goalie method because it just doesn't typically work. I think they're playing great team defense. Let's see what they do now. There's a good save there from Carr. He read that all the way. It might've been high anyway, but Carr saw it in. Yeah, that's a Ryan Evans with a right-left split. Gets his hands free. Gets a good shot up top. You know, that's a that's a good save. That ball was going in offside high. And the Blue Jays pick it up. Now the Jays running downhill. Ooh, I thought it was going to be a long-distance crank. It still is. Carr saw it all the way, though. And Carr with another save. Yeah, that was a great play by Bowden Zulik right there. Call that a yard sale back in the day. Played with him, too, right? I did, played for four years with, with Jameson. There's three Blue Jays assistants under Coach Milliman. Here's a shovel shot, Carr or the cage. I'm not sure which one, but either way, it was saved. That was a, that was a great skip pass by 33, Casey McDermott. So that's a lot of turnovers tonight. Seems to be players open at times. That was read perfectly right there by Marcio. Yeah, that was a big save by Marcio. I think he needed that one just to get back on track. You know, these guys, oh, they typically practice during the day. Most of their games are during the day. So playing under the lights is a, is a different thing, for especially for the goalies to see the ball. Shots by quarter. Johns Hopkins 12 and then 6, Michigan. Dead even with the Blue Jays in the second, and the score's dead even. Faceoffs are dead even, and a good save there from Carr. Picked up by Michigan. They give it back to Carr. The ride from the Blue Jays has been strong, make no doubt about it. That is another part of the story, as we mentioned already. Big time athletes. There's Bonomi. 
Cohen had it for a moment. Tight pass trying to squeeze it into Bonomi. Fancy there, Dean. Fancy. You love that. Great awareness by Marcel, though, um, to keep his eye on the ball. I actually like that game plan. They did spread it out. When it got to 10, they started running downhill, and then they found Zawada, and that will count it down. Quick. Zawada had a big lefty goal there. And I think what happened is that caused a little goalie change here for Hopkins. So we're seeing Tim Marcel is out, and the graduate transfer from Bryant, Luke Car Carcaccio. Yeah, Luke Caracciolo coming into the or game. that too. <laughs> The grad student transfer from Brian Centerville, Virginia. And so now we'll buckle up with the new goalie. We thought it was going to be Michigan changing goalies, and instead it's the Blue Jays. And off the faceoff, Michigan now. They scored in the final seconds. Wow, and he sees the first one in. That's going to be huge. They lose it again. He needs to save another one. Get across the line. I think he saved it. What a start. We barely knew oh how God. to say his name, Luke Caracciolo. Uh, and I'll say good thing there is no video replay because you thought pretty across. sure that goal, that was a goal there, as is. And to come out cold in 15 degree weather, that's a huge, huge start for the goalie. Wow, and you can see how his teammates are behind him. And he's got three. He just got another one. Are you kidding me? Number 42 getting a start. First appearance this season. Had to double check the phonetics. And he's saying, <laughs> check it again because he's money right now. Yeah, that was a tough one. I know he wants that one back. Plenty of time. Shot clock at 45. Another good save. What a game off the bench, making his first appearance of the season, Luke Caracciolo, number 42 in the cage for the Blue Jays. Right now it's in the hand of Thompson. You gotta figure it's gonna find Zawada. There is a little spin, extra pass, and denied by the backup goalie for the Blue Jays. That could be just as big momentum-wise. Oh, oh, oh my pipe. goodness! So the save first, and then the best friend for Luke Caracciolo, and Johns Hopkins has a one-goal lead. What they wanted, they get a great, a, an open shot from Jackson from 12 yards, loose ball. I mean, at this point, Hopkins should just lay on the ball and let the clock run out. And the scrum continues off the pipe. Goalie's best friend. We're going into it. He'll pick back up, though. Short clock here. Oh, uh, reset. That's huge. This was at the top of the goal. See the urgency now for Michigan, but yet the ride is on for the Blue Jays. Not making anything easy for Michigan. Got to credit Coach John Crawley for that ride. He instilled that. Oh, side netting. Michigan thought they had scored as that was cranked right there by Aaron. Double check. And number 42, Luke Cracciolo has been money. I mean, these three saves right off the bat to open up the second half. Are you kidding me? He said no, thank you. And that's just, you know, when, when, any, when any bench player comes in, especially a goalie and does something big, in this magnitude of a game in Big Ten play, it's just tremendous. It fires up the whole team. There so he is. Got to look for Michigan to probably double the ball. I mean, that's great. <laughs> this weather, I can't believe that. Probably had a couple of uh, frat sodas. <laughs> Ooh. Staying with it, Graciola. He has stayed in the game and was part of the difference. What a fantastic Big Ten men's lacrosse game, but too much Blue Jays in the fourth quarter. Final score, Johns Hopkins 15, Michigan 11.